News 4 is trying to help you imagine a better St. Louis by telling you stories about the people who have big plans for the city's future. There is a need for moms and it's kind of our opportunity to make the world a better place. It allows them to pump on their own terms so they can do it however they want. An engineer from upstate New York is married to a Parkway Central graduate with a business background. Their past goes back to the University of Pennsylvania. Their future could revolutionize the way working moms pump breast milk. This morning, I'll tell you how their story is part of a bigger story about the growing St. Louis tech startup scene. Sliders to control suction and speeds. Then it will also show you how much milk you've pumped. In. She dreamed of a concept, so he designed at the computer. This would be what a mom would wear. That Jared would be Miller and Samantha Very Rudolph. Small. He's now eight months. Can see their kid uh, baby Exton after they created their company, Babyation. The business was born out of an emotional outburst. To use a breast pump, you had to remove your shirt. You had to find a bathroom, a utility closet, a corner with a curtain. I got really angry about it because Women are expected to do so much. Moms in general still have to pull, uh, pull a disproportionate share of housework, and they're still held to higher standards in the workplace. And working moms make less money, but working dads make more money. Her anger was the source of inspiration for action. And it's connected to a tube that's running down my body. They're developing a breast shield to fit under the bra of a working mom who's nursing so she could pump breast milk and not be noticed. I can be sitting right here having this interview with you, and pumping breast milk and you wouldn't know and neither would the audience. It's designed to be discreet so that a woman can do what she wants to do on her own terms. Absolutely working moms will benefit from this product. There's so many other types of moms that are excited about what we're doing. And they're really excited about doing business in the show me state since leaving the nutmeg state. We made more progress here in the first three weeks than we made in 18 months prior in Connecticut. That's actually one of the benchmarks we use to see how we're doing as a region is when people come from other parts of the country. Francis Chevalier runs I-10, the Information Technology Entrepreneur Network. I-10 helps tech innovators attract investors. We try to accelerate their growth. Through this St. Louis University and SLU High School alumnus says St. Louis's culture of collaboration is boosting the technology boom. It's very hot right now. The St. Louis tech startup scene is sizzling. According to this report, the number of full-time employees went from 601 in 2011 to 1461 in 2015, and the number of part-time workers went from 57 to 450 in the same time period. We're talking about in just the tech space alone, almost 2,000 full and part-time opportunities. You know, that's a, that's a significant number of jobs. That job creation is being credited to an ideal environment for innovative entrepreneurs. It, it doesn't just encourage the entrepreneur, it puts us in a position to succeed and to thrive. Now let me go back to that anger that Samantha was telling me about. She got it after reading a blog in the New York Times in 2014 about how breast feeding for women hasn't changed in hundreds of years. And that's where that anger came from. And then she and her husband arrived here in St. Louis last fall when they won $50,000 from Arch Grants. And here we are now. That is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. You think of how the workplace is set up mm -hmm. and then new moms having to try to fit into that yep. can be very difficult. Great story there, Thank Andre. You. Thank you much.